Ciao amici, come stati? My name is Mose Persico. I'm a radio and television journalist here in Montreal, Canada. However, I was born in Sorrento, Napoli a long, long time ago. I do speak Italian, ma io parlo veramente napoletano. And I'm very proud to be one of the humans of wine. Salute e buon appetito. My profession in the wine business is that I consider myself a Canadian ambassador to the Italian wine market. Having visited many regions in Italy, such as La Molise, Abruzzo, Veneto, Emilia Romagna, and many more, I've interviewed many Italian wine producers and marketing representatives with my radio and television experience, and have brought back the knowledge back here to Canada and North America in helping promote Italian wine. My perception of the wine business during this terrible COVID-19 pandemic is twofold. Yes, the world has suddenly come to a stop. Economies worldwide have halted. We have learned new words, physical distancing, social distancing, and yes, we have to learn to adapt to a new way of life. But in my opinion, the wine business should not suffer because the Italian winemakers that I've known have always practiced health and safety measures to the tilt. They know that it's all about providing safety and health during any, any circumstance. And health and safety has always been at the forefront of Italian wine producers. Will this emergency change the world of wine? Without a doubt, yes. Just as Hollywood and other business corporations have learned to adapt to new ways of conducting business, so too will the Italian wine industry. Italian winemakers may not necessarily have the luxury right now to invite sommeliers or wine enthusiasts to their wineries due to travel restrictions, but once an effective vaccine is found to combat COVID-19, they can all look forward to, once again, sommeliers and wine enthusiasts to return to their wineries to sample their beautiful wine and, of course, bring back their wine back to North America. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed my job drastically. Naturally, due to travel restrictions, I can no longer fly to Los Angeles or New York for my Hollywood reports, nor Italy to meet the wonderful wine producers. I have been conducting my Hollywood reports through social media apps such like Zoom or Skype, but I think in my opinion the same methods cannot be applied to covering the Italian wine industry. One has to visit Italy in person, be there, right face to face with the Italian winemakers and producers to get a feel and a sense of their wines. The biggest challenge for winemakers in Italy now is quite simple. Firstly, continue to produce the highest quality of wines and instill confidence in the world that Italy will overcome this pandemic. Secondly, hold on to your valuable employees during this economic recession. Don't let them to become swallowed up by larger players in the field. There's still plenty of time until harvest season. Remain positive and let karma do all the rest. Overcoming these challenges for winemakers in Italy requires them to develop a strong marketing campaign of their products. Their campaigns have to instill confidence, vibrancy, quality, and a business-as-usual approach to their respective regions. The overall theme should be victory. My activities on social media are as follows. I have an Instagram and Facebook account and all my Hollywood reports are posted on both Instagram and Facebook. And of course, they're then steered to my media properties, CTV Montreal and my radio station, Mike FM 105.1. I'm also on Twitter, on Nomi Biagia Twitter. The promotion of wines will not change much once this pandemic is over. Yes, there'll probably be new rules applied when you visit a winery in Italy, probably practicing physical distancing or social distancing. But wine is a celebration. It's a way of life which begins from the rich soils of the earth to the vine, to the bottle, and eventually to the glass. It's a journey which requires a lot of patience, luck, love, and admiration.
The same applies to promoting wine regions in Italy. Yes, we must all adapt respectfully and carefully, but we can never replace the human experience of meeting a winemaker in person to thank him or her in doing what they do best. And that is, through wine, give joy to the world. Tanti saluti, grazie, salute.